Welcome to your Straight Razor Edge Friday special, how to not destroy your straight razor. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. Let's look at all the things that you might be doing to destroy your straight razor starting right now. The first thing is don't strop your straight razor right after you get it back from somebody that has honed it up for you. Or if you got a brand new razor that they claim is shave ready, don't strop it. All right. Just don't do it because it has already been stropped by the people that honed it. And for the first shave, you won't need to strop it. Next. When stropping your straight razor, I want you to strop with spine leading strokes. So you're going to lead with the spine, just like that. All right. Always lead with the spine when you're stropping. If you lead with the edge, you will cut whatever you're stropping on. All right. So remember, we always lead with the spine, not the edge. And when you're stropping your straight razor, you don't have to be a ninja, all right? Just drop it slow and even as you go, all right? This is a task that you should be able to enjoy. Don't go at warp speed, you don't need to. It won't help your razor be any sharper. Now, here's what I would suggest, go ahead and when you're stropping your straight razor, you're going to want to play like you are playing ping pong. Now, when you're playing ping pong, you will keep your eye on that ball when it's going back and forth, right? Well, keep your eye on that blade when you're stropping it. Yes, follow it up and down that strop. All right. It's very important that you know where that blade is at all times. Don't use this as a letter opener or to open your Amazon packages. Okay. That edge on your straight razor, that edge is extremely, extremely thin. And if you use this as a letter opener or opening your Amazon packages, you will mess up that edge and it will have to be home. Keep in mind all steel rust. Okay. Even if it says stainless steel, that means it stains less, but it will still stain. And when they say stain, that actually means rust. Now stainless steel will take longer to rust, but Carbon steel, on the other hand, can rust very quickly. So you need to protect that blade. What I would suggest is when you are shaving, you're not going to want to get anywhere from here up. You're not going to want to get that hinge pin, the scales. None of that gets wet. Only from here down gets wet when you are shaving. We don't get the handle wet. We don't get the hinge pin wet. We don't get wet from here down to here. All right. Very important that all of this stays dry. You can get from here down wet. All right. Now it is very important when you're shaving to clean off your straight razor. One of the best ways is get a little towel and you're going to want to pinch that razor blade between two fingers and see how I have not gotten all the way to the edge. You don't want to go all the way to the edge. You want to get close, but don't go all the way and you just pull it straight through to clean off that razor. Now you could also do this with a sponge as well. Now the other way to do this and this works really well, especially on smiling blades. Okay. Do a spine leading stropping stroke on your towel. 
like this, all right? You lead with the spine, never lead with the edge, and that will clean off your razor just fine. And then you will want to leave your razor open like this and set it down, leave it open so it can air dry for at least an hour or more. That way, any moisture that you have gotten in these scales will have a chance to dry before you close it. Now, when you close it, if these scales are wet or damp even, you can get a line here, and that is from the scales being wet, and that will also put that whole blade, see that? They'll put the whole blade in a moist area and that will make your razor rust quicker. Now, one of the things you can do after that razor is dry is you can put it in a pouch like this. This is a leather pouch and you can just slip it in there just like that, okay? And look at that. It's got air that can get in there and help keep it in good shape. And then you just pull the tab over and now you can store this razor. Okay, now I also have another way that you can store your razor. This is faux leather, all right? It's not expensive, but look at this. That razor fits right in there, just like that. And now, with either of these systems, you can keep your razor outside of the shaved in, all right? Now, the shaved in is your bathroom right here, okay? Your bathroom has got a very high humidity level in it because of the shower. Yeah. So we don't store our razors in the shave den. We want to store it outside the shave den. And in a pouch like this is a perfect way to store your razor outside of the shave den. Also, don't use alcohol or barberside on your straight razor, okay? This can kill a straight razor because what it will do, it is going to pull the oil out of the steel and that can allow that razor to rust quicker. So don't use alcohol, barberside, none of that. You don't want to do that pulling the oil out of that razor. You want a healthy razor. Also, that can mess with the scales on your razor depending on what they're made out of. So, just don't use it. You'll be better off. Speaking of a healthy razor, now, what I would suggest is using something like my razor wax on your blade to protect it when you're not shaving. Now, if you're not gonna shave for a week or more, that blade needs some protection. Now, with my razor wax, this has got sunflower oil, beeswax, and several essential oils, which are stringent and antiseptic, and will make for a healthy blade. Now, if you don't wanna do that, Go ahead and put oil on that blade to keep it from rusting. Next, if you are sharpening or honing your straight razor, don't sharpen it like it's a pocket knife. See how that spine is up off of the stone and the edge is on the stone? That is the way you sharpen a pocket knife, not a straight razor. If you are going to get into straight razor shaving and you want to hone, okay, you come down on the spine, touch the edge, and that is the proper bevel angle for your straight razor. 
all right? So as long as the spine and the edge are touching at the same time, you can hone that razor. Just don't hone it like that. That will totally destroy your straight razor. The next thing, if you're gonna hone your straight razor, hone the entire edge, okay? If you just hone the toe or the heel or you put too much pressure, you can actually get an uneven edge and even wreck your razor and have a frown in that blade, which is not gonna be good for you. So if you're gonna hone, you're gonna have to have that whole edge on that stone, all right? Remember, honing your straight razor is a whole nother skill set. And this is something you will have to learn if you want to hone your own razor. So keep that in mind. There's stones that will need to be bought. There are techniques and skills that have to be learned to be able to sharpen your straight razor. Like this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see how to start straight razor shaving the series. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.